The Hayworth Fern is tied for my number one chair pick of all the chairs that I've tested and reviewed. The other chair that it's tied for for first place is the Herman Miller Embody. But the Hayworth Fern had one glaring issue, and it was that if you wanted a headrest for your chair, which many people do, especially gamers, well, the headrest that Hayworth made for their fern is really, really bad. I have a fern at home with the headrest, and it's so bad that I straight up removed it. It's a piece of pad that moves up and down. It doesn't swivel, that's it. It just gets in the way. And because of that, many people just avoided the Hayworth fern altogether, right? No headrest, deal breaker. Well, I'm really happy to announce that my friends over at Atlas Headrest are now selling this. This is an adapted headrest. This is their Herman Miller Aeron headrest that has been adapted for the Hayworth Fern. That's why when I turn it around, you're gonna see that aesthetic-wise, color-wise, it doesn't quite match the Hayworth Fern. While this headrest looks phenomenally better on the Herman Miller Aeron, I can tell you that functionally, it is fan Frigantastic on the Hayworth Fern. Let me go ahead and break down why, and then one strong consideration you should look into before picking this up. Okay, so the reason why I think functionally it works great, even though it's kind of like an accident, is that I am five foot six, and when I bring it all the way down, if I were to sit up while working, this actually fits perfectly, beautifully, into the crick of my neck of where I would want my head position. Now, for me, I personally don't like using a headrest while sitting up and working. And studies have shown that you know using a headrest while sitting up and working can actually you know um, atrophy certain muscles. So for me, when I'm sitting up and working, I actually don't like the headrest there at all. And it's a pet peeve of mine that if anything touches or rubs the back of my head, I get really, really upset, right? Like a headrest that does that is just really frustrating. I'm happy to announce that I'm actually able to push it far back enough that if I'm working, it doesn't actually touch or rub the back of my head. It's awesome. At the same time, if I were to go ahead and unlock the chair and lean back, I get the full functionality of the headrest. Like I was worried that, you know, is it going to be limited in terms of what it was able to do on the Herman Miller Aeron? And that is not the case whatsoever. So if I lean back here, I'm able to pull it out and up a little bit if I'm trying to look a little bit more forward, and I can even turn it down a little bit if I wanna look a little bit more forward, or I'm able to push it back and up if I wanna look a little bit more upwards if I'm just kind of relaxing or brainstorming inside of the chair. And because of that, there is no limitation in terms of how it can be used compared to when it's on a Herman Miller Aeron. The limitation it does have, and this is the consideration that I was talking about, something you should consider is going to be the height limit. So again, me being five foot six, I think that's gonna be the minimum height, the bare minimum height for this headrest. Now there are some exceptions. If you like your headrest on the back of your head as opposed to in the crick of your neck, you might be able to go down maybe to like five foot four or five foot five. But I would really say, to me, it feels most comfortable in the crook of my neck, and I would say five foot six, five foot seven is going to be the bare minimum height for this headrest. There is also going to be a maximum height. Now, on a Herman Miller Aeron, there really wouldn't have been a maximum height because this thing could usually normally slide all the way up here, but because of this adapter, you can only go up a little bit. Atlas Headrest did some testing. They said it seemed like feedback was generally you can go up to six foot four, six foot five, but again with an asterisk. That's assuming that you like it, the headrest being in the crick of your neck. If you like it on your head, well then you're gonna have to be a little bit shorter, perhaps around six foot two to six foot three. Now let me break down the functionality. Atlas Headrest makes the best headrest in the world. The cushion on this is phenomenal. It is soft yet incredibly supportive. There's no hard edges anywhere. So even if you were to go all the way down, you were to turn it up, you're not gonna feel any hard edge anywhere. It's phenomenal. In terms of controls, this is much looser than it would be because you can really crank it down. I'm just, I kept it loose so you guys could see. So you can adjust it up and down. So you can adjust it height wise, and then you can adjust the in and out individually, so I love that you can control this separately. And again, it would be much harder to do, I just have it really loosened right now. And the reason why I love having this separate because like a lot of headrests sometimes are kind of like an arc motion. It can be really hard to get it in the perfect position. I kept talking about how it's really loose right now. And the reason why is because you can actually tighten the controls so that you can either have it really stiff and never move, or you can have it loose enough that you can adjust it in your chair. And the way you do that is there are two knobs. One is here on the top, and this knob, if you righty tighty, well then it's gonna make it much harder to slide that headrest in and out. 
And then if you loosen it, obviously it's gonna be much easier. And again, you can really crank this thing down to stay in place while you sit in the chair. As for the height adjustment, there's a knob here in the front. And again, if you tighten that, it's gonna make it much harder to go up and down. And you can really crank it down so that makes it damn well impossible to move while you're sitting in the chair. I, I personally like to have it a little loose so I can adjust it because when you sit up in your chair and you lean back, you do have to adjust it a little bit. So I like have, being able to adjust it a little bit while sitting in the chair. In terms of installation, here is a pro tip. This arm is gonna come separately from the headrest cushion itself, this thing here, this with the plastic backing. And I'm gonna strongly recommend you install the headrest first. I believe in an Aeron, you're supposed to install the arm and then the headrest, but on the Fern, you wanna do it vice versa. You wanna install the headrest first and then the arm. One of the benefits of having the headrest be detachable is that at any point, if you wanna switch out the headrest cushion itself, you can do that. You can just buy this instead of buying the entire headrest, save a little bit of money. But the reason why I say install the headrest first to the arm before installing it to the back of the chair is because on an Aeron, you would get a little bit more space here in the horizontal to install this thing. But here, the front of the chair is right there. It, everything just gets in the way. It's impossible to get in there and tighten the screws down. So headrest on first and then the arm. The way you install the arm is that you're going to connect the arms on top of the chair's fabric, and then the bottom piece will clip into the plastic part of this cutout for the fern, and then there's a screw down here, and you tighten it, and that's it. Now, there is something that might cause some concern, and it's that these arms here are gripping onto the fabric, but there is no kind of rubber or some kind of soft material to protect your fabric. Now I will say that this thing is cranked down really tight. There is no side to side motion, so I don't believe it's gonna fray the fabric, but it is gonna clamp down on your fabric. So if you're worried about having a pristine chair, that might be something you want to consider. Now, if you pick one of these up, I would love, love, love to hear your feedback down in the comments below, especially on how it fits to your height. I think that's gonna be invaluable feedback for the community, so please comment that down below. If you wanna pick one up, you can use my code ENTOURAGE for $5 off. And that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time, everybody, stay safe, and as always, stay honest.